Now, we don't have any evidence yet that that's the case, that if you keep taking melatonin at a high dose, your body, the fear would be, shuts down its own natural production of melatonin. I've seen no evidence of that. In fact, I've seen evidence that contrary, that even after about six months or even 12 months in certain small cities, when you stop melatonin, the production starts again naturally. It's, it seems fine. Problem is, people haven't been taking melatonin for just 12 months. They've been taking it for years. We've got no idea what happens after years. That was my hesitation when the first time someone offered me melatonin is, from doing this podcast and speaking to smart people like yourself, I've come to learn this sort of principle that if you start making something for your body in terms of a hormone, if you start sort of um, consuming something externally, like testosterone, your body will say, fine, I don't need to do this. It'll try and return to that level of balance where the quantities in your system are maintained, which means it kind of learns to shut down. And I always think about the case of testosterone, because men know that if we start injecting testosterone, then we're going to have to pretty much do it forever. Yeah. Um, if we want the le those levels to be the same. 